Good afternoon, and welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number six hundred and eighteen, and the topic today is actually part of why I describe myself, or part of how I describe myself, and I want to talk about that, which is about those high, excuse me, about those strong, successful, high achieving women. Because a, a friend of mine gave me some, she reflected back something to me, so I want to talk about that because now I see the clarity I need, so I'm going to share it with you. So before I jump into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am, what I'm about, and what I'm doing here, so to speak. Um, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and I help strong, successful, high-achieving women create balance in love, life, and business, and that's going to change after today. Um, not only to help them, but it's a different... I'll get to that. <laughs> and I'm also a passionate champion of the divine feminine, which drives all of my work. And that's what led to these talks starting over two years ago called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And I do these talks every day on Facebook Live at 5 p.m. Pacific time. But today it's 4 p.m. because I've got things going on today. And it will be on YouTube later on in case you're watching it there. So this is episode number 618. And the topic again today is about those women, excuse me, about those strong, successful, high-achieving women. Because I'm realizing I've been painting myself into a corner. <laughs> And I will talk a little bit about that and also give you some an invitation as well as some suggestions. So using that as a model, as an archetype, and I realize this, this is going to apply to a lot of women besides that thin little layer. There are many strong, successful, high achieving women who are single and not having what they want in a relationship, which is why I sort of aim my message towards those women. But truth is my service, my work, my understanding of masculine and feminine behavior and how men's minds work can help all women. And I'll get to that in a moment. So these women who I've been talking about in my title for the last several hundred broadcasts are generally speaking women who are committed to their career, their vocation, their calling, their divine inspiration, that which drives them. But they're doing it, generally speaking, from a masculine place. And let me broaden this a little bit. Many women have been trained by the culture. And I did talk about this a little bit yesterday about the masculine and feminine polarity piece in yesterday's broadcast. So please go back and watch number 617. <clears throat> I talked about how there are plenty of women out there who have been trained by the culture we live in to copy the men, to emulate the men, to do things like the men, particularly in business. Because in business, which is the majority of people's time usually, is focused into the, the arena they're working in. For most women in business, They've learned how to act like, mimic, and behave like men without actually running a male brain, which is one of the challenges. And secondly, they also don't know how to relate to men from a feminine place, or I should say they've forgotten to or they've suppressed how to relate to men from a feminine place. And that's one of the reasons we have such a messed up dating arena currently in our culture. I was also in yesterday's talk, so I'm this does bridge from yesterday. I had a feeling it might. So, I seem to use that word so a lot in my conversation. I'm going to have to eliminate that one. It's becoming a regular introduction. Thusly? <laughs> Instead of so, maybe. We'll try that one out. What I've become aware of, thanks to my input from my friend today, who's another coach, um, is that, truth be told, my messaging, my work, my understanding serves all women. Uh, women who are in the masculine, most definitely. Women who are in the feminine, to a degree, as well. Because most women don't understand the masculine brain, or I should say the men's brain that's a masculine generated sourced energy. And I'm not saying that I'm the key to all men, because that it would be impossible, because there's too many men and I can't be like all of them. However, the certain things I understand from the work I've done, how men operate, how women operate, and how they don't operate functionally. And that's a lot of my understanding in my work. So when I'm working with my clients, a lot of what I'm doing is not so much, well it is, helping them heal, transform, create a whole heart, become more fulfilled and attract more than one relationship, but I'm also providing a strong masculine presence, because that's what I've been studying and functioning for the last dozen years. And on top of that, I give them a, a I, I tend to show them, reflect to them a perspective on how men think to help them understand how to be different from that. Because a lot of what these women are going through, not just the ones I put in the title, but a lot of women, period, especially who are working, is the cultural container has required women to adopt masculine or male practices to survive and to function. And it's been going on for so long, many women have forgotten what it's like not to do that. This is a discrepancy. 
that's just the wrong way of saying it. This is a calamity <laughs> in a way, because frankly, the culture we live in has been, it's like we're leaning too far to one side. The balance of this culture to survive requires both the feminine, excuse me, both the masculine and the feminine um, polarities and energies to be in balance, both, both in all of us and collectively as a culture. And this again ties back to yesterday's broadcast. Some reason this is filling in some of the gaps I left yesterday, which is perfect. So what I'm really getting clear about more and more, and in this moment, is how much we have room to grow as people, men and women. And when it comes to relationships, it's a place where we haven't yet got into a place of real balance. The thing about relationship is it seems for a lot of people to be very lopsided. Whether it's time allocation, whether it's commitment, it's like instead of being two people coming together in the middle, it's oftentimes one person going over the middle to get the other person or vice versa. And that's a dysfunction of relationship. Should they said they said dysfunctional all dysfunctional? It's a messed up relationship. But the truth for many people is they don't know how to do don't know how to do things differently. And that's one of the reasons I'm here. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, or six hundred and seventeen before this, every one of them provides some insights, some provocations, some suggestion about how to be more functional as a human being and how to be more effective in a relationship. That's a lot of broadcasts. There's also a lot of content, a lot of messaging, and a lot of stuff stuff that I've learned over the last 30 plus years in this in this journey that's not my age that's my time of study let me be clear about that <laughs> he knows the gray hairs um, <laughs> my mind's having fun with me at the moment so what I'm attempting to suggest here what I'm intending to suggest here what I'm actually telling you is that there's a distinct um, next step for all of us and particularly what I'm aware of, aware of for both men and women is that we have yet to grow into fully functional relationship partners and the authentic single people. Both of those areas are areas we've got room to grow in. A lot of people walk around, again, men and women, carrying around this um, feeling that being being single is somehow in, um, what's the word I want to use for this? Being in no man's land or being in purg purgatory. That's a better way of putting it, yeah. For some people, being single feels like being in purgatory because there's something about being being single that is wrong in their mindset, that you only are effective, you're only successful, you're only alive if you're in a relationship. That isn't true, by the way. On the other side, there are people who are in relationships that are absolutely not functional because they don't know how to be in a relationship. I'm covering basically everybody on the planet right now. There are many people who choose relationship as a way of avoiding being single, not as a choice to be in a relationship, and those are two different things. So if you're someone who's been choosing a relationship to avoid feeling single, I have a strong suggestion. If you're not in a happy relationship, it's time to actually face yourself in the mirror and have a relationship with yourself that makes, you, makes your single life thrive and also fall in love with yourself. I have some things I want to offer, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it right now or later on. So let me just speak right now at this point. You can only be a healthy relationship partner if you're a healthy single person. Meaning that when you are in fulfillment of who you are, living your truth, living your vision, living in your heart, as a whole single being, excuse me, only then are you gonna be able to move forward into a, a relationship from a healthy place. And you'll only be in a relationship with somebody who can do the same thing as well. Being in a healthy relationship requires two whole beings to be equal partners. And that's the work I help my clients get to, which is the work I help my clients do so they can get to where they want to go. So if this appeals to you, we need to talk. Um, here's what, okay. So one of the things I recommend highly for a lot of my clients, and one reason I created this, pro, this um, guided meditation, is that a lot of people have forgotten how to love themselves or have basically never have loved themselves. And one of the simplest tools I offer one of the simplest tools I recommend is to look in the mirror and tell yourself you love yourself. So to help you with that, I created a 60 plus page guidebook and two audio meditations, guided meditations, one for the morning, one for the evening, to help you get there more easily. What you have to do is pit play and listen along, look in the mirror and have the effect, have the, have the experience, that's the word, experience. So I'm gonna put a link in the comments for the self-love practice because frankly, 
it's a simple yet most profound transformational agent in your life. If you're feeling like you can't be alone and single, this will help you. If you're in a relationship that's not working because you don't feel like you're being loved, this will help you. It sounds simplistic, but it works because it's not hard work and it doesn't require you to climb some sort of mountain to get there. So I highly recommend it. I'll put the link in the comments so you can get to it. Secondly, if you really are, if you're someone who knows, or in fact you know somebody, you can share this with them as well, who knows that there's more to life than you've got and you want to have a more amazing life, but you feel somehow that you are suppressed or you just simply don't know what you're looking for, or you're feeling like you can never have what you really want, you're lying to yourself. And I mean that kindly, because I was doing that to myself as well. Another thing I'm going to offer in the comments, because it's a weekend, so I'm going to promote some stuff, um, is a little, little um, offering I call your best life. Because for most people, they're not living their best life. They don't know how to get there. I have a seven module uh, workbook guide help system I'm not sure the right word for it basically it's a, you download it you work on it it works that will get you where you want to go in terms of your vision your intention to help you clarify what you want and get you on track to where you want to live and thrive and have an amazing life in every area of your life not just relationship that's also going to be in the comments for you to choose from as well third thing though is also more intimate for that which is if you want to get support you get some get your head on straight to understand where you are and where you want to go I'm going to put a link in the comments for a discovery session with me. It's designed, the, the form in there is for women who want to get clarity about relationship. Um, and if you're a woman looking for love and you want more help and it's not even about that, just make a note in the comments in the area about what you're really looking for. And you can, and I'll set up a time, we'll set up a time, or rather you'll choose a time, and we'll talk next, uh, next week, because I don't do this on the weekends. So I think that's everything I want to say. So uh, if you have any questions, thoughts about this, please put them in the comments below and I'll respond. This is a, this is part two of what I started yesterday in a way. It's kind of related and there's more coming, I know. But I already get clear that I'm, my, my branding message in my introduction is going to change because I'm realizing more and more that my work is not just about those strong, successful, high-achieving women. It's more than that. So I'm glad you were listening. So thanks for watching. <laughs> so with that, I thank you for watching. In fact, I do appreciate you being here. I'll let you know where the replays are so you know where to find me. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, these are usually, these are always on Facebook Live usually my personal page and usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Today, because of some planned shifts, I'm going to be doing, I did it at 4 p.m. In case you're wondering why it's not live at 5 p.m. watching the replay. So you can still watch along and add comments and I respond afterwards as well. So to find me at my usual time, go to my personal page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. You'll find me there. Secondly, I have the replay saved on my business page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author. So you can get those there. Thirdly, I also have a YouTube channel where you may be watching this, in fact, and that channel is Barry Selby. All my social media is my name, Barry Selby. And if you want to get there, it's youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Barry Selby. You can go there and you can subscribe to my channel and you can go to the playlist called Messages for the Masculine to watch all of these. And fourthly, I have a podcast that I'm slowly expanding, which has got the replays of these in audio format. I've got the first bunch of them up there now. If you go to iTunes, you look for Messages from the Masculine, you subscribe to my iTunes, my iTunes podcast, and you can download the audios and listen to them when you want. Again, I'll put links in the comments for the self-love practice, your best life, and discovery session with me. Those are all offerings that will help you, if you especially if you want to get more out of life, more out of love, and more out of, more out of yourself. And again, comments are welcome. So I appreciate you responding. If you want to share this with anybody you know, or share this in groups you feel should watch this, please share it with them as well. And with that, I thank you for watching. I will be doing some talks about Valentine's Day because it's coming up in a few days. For some people, that's a scary idea, but I will save that for later. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me once again. I will see you again tomorrow. Take care.